Hello everyone. My name is Maria and welcome to another Tranquil Tones ASMR video. So today I am going to be doing another Sheen wig review and show and tell. <laughs> I absolutely love doing these videos. Um, I have purchased another four wigs and uh, these wigs are absolutely amazing. It's the third time I've purchased from Sheen and uh, don't get me wrong, I've had one or two wigs which I know I won't wear. I'll, I'll wear for definite in my YouTube videos, but not out and about. But overall, I've had such a good experience with these wigs, and so cheap, absolutely cheap, and uh, the, for the quality as well, absolutely brilliant. So I wanted to share my these new wigs with you today. So I'm going to jump straight into it. So I've got four wigs here. Um, I think three of them are like pinky and then another one's like a, a grey she darkish colour like it's like an ombre kind of thing but with silver so yeah brilliant um, but first things first I have to turn my hair up now because I let my hair dry naturally um, I don't plait it's going to be very hard to plait so just for the purpose of this video I'm just going to tie it into like a low bun, that kind of thing. Um, I know the wig won't sit um, right. Obviously I'm not going to just tie my hair up like this for if I do wear them outside. Um, I will find another way of securing my hair better. But just for the purpose of these, this video I'm just going to pop it into just a, a low bun. Not very good with hair in all honesty so um i've made it into a smaller bun as i can there is some hair hanging out but it doesn't matter and then oh, i don't know where i put it where have i put it so when your hair is up you have to put one of these beautiful looking things <laughs> this is a lost my train of thought. It's basically a thing what you put over your head to secure your hair so then your hair doesn't all fall out. Um, oh, I can't remember what you call it now. But it's, it's, it's the material like a stocking and you can get these in different colours. I've gone for this like a neutral shade and I've gone for a black. So if I wear darker wigs I can wear the black. So this makes me look incredibly sexy. <laughs> I look like I'm a robber. So I'm just going to tuck my bun just inside that as well. And just, you don't need it too lower down, just where your hairline is. So once that is done, you can start trying on your wigs. Um, so I'm going to show you... Which one shall I show you first? Oh, I've got... I must have bought five. I don't think I did. I thought I bought four. Never mind. <laughs> and, uh, we're going to go for this one first. So when you buy from Sheen, this is what the packaging looks like. Just in these plastic bags. And then 
the wig is in like this little netting, netted bag and you get some cardboard as well. And I'll just take that, it's like a, it's like a hairnet. <laughs> of you. Oh, it's all sticking to me. <laughs> and then inside there's just some of that plastic tissue paper. And then here is the wig. So this, as you can see, is a pink wig. Um, I think well, on the photograph, it looked absolutely stunning. I like how it's darker at the top, then it fades into these lovely pink tones. Now, when you look closer, there is some hint of blonde. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, the sun is really bright, so you might be able to just see it. I don't know. Um, but you've got some hint of blonde in there. You've got your pink, and you've got like some of the darker round going through it and I just think it looks so nice and this one does come with the fringe or bangs depending where you're from um, I have found uh, in the past that the wigs with fringes look the more uh, most realistic the ones without just look a bit crap in all honesty um, Um, the wig, at first glance, feels really thick, which is good. And you've got like this nice little flicky style. So you've got like some slight waves going on in there. And then this is what the wig looks like inside. So you've got that netted, oh, I can't remember what you call it now. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And then you can secure the wig around the back of your head using these straps um, I will be securing these uh, when I do go out and about but for the purpose of this this video I won't be um, and I will also be brushing the wig as well in this video just to see how much fallout um, I will always expect a bit of fallout because of where it's from it's had a, a long journey I think it's come from China so um, there will be some fallout um, but yeah, let's get this bad boy on. I do, I've got quite a lot of pink wigs um, now. Um, I don't know, I just pink is such a lovely colour. Okay, so let's just get this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Now, you just got to make sure it sits right in your head. And um, the hair lines are never massive at all. They're, they're very small, actually. And um, the fringes are quite thick, like really long. So you just got to play with it. Now, obviously, don't wear the wig too far, far forward. Um, I mean, if you're like me, I, I don't like cutting into wigs in case I make a mistake. Um, so I just like push the wig back just so the fringe sits like nicely with my eyes so let's see. it's very long I like that and I do like the colour I don't know if you guys can see so I'm in the shade now, but then there's the sun. <laughs> it's really long. I didn't realise how long it was. Oh, excuse me. So there is just a bit of fallout, surprisingly, considering how long and thick this wig is. Obviously, just have a play with it. You know, brush it into the style you want. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can see the fallout now, but once that's brushed out, it'll be absolutely fine. I'm just going to make a pile of it over here. basically it. I really like that. I can see myself better now. Um, what's that? Now that I'm uh, in the shade. And I've deliberately worn uh, like some pink makeup. So you can just see... Oh no you can't. Oh, that thing what I put on my head was a wig cap. I've just remembered it. <laughs> the wig cap. So sometimes these wigs, are, uh, if they're thick enough on the fringe, they do obviously cover your wig cap. Oh, see, I need to just have a play. Just brush all this hair out of your face. Yeah, I really like that one, this one. Um, I do love the length. I mean, my hair naturally is probably about there. So it's nice to have really long, longish hair. I mean, this just comes uh, just over my boobs. If, if you can... It's quite long. I really like that, I really do. I mean, there's a bit of a bump here on the top. I don't know if it's noticeable on, on camera, but in this mirror I can see. I don't know. Maybe when I secure it at the back, it might just like flatten down a bit. But yeah, I really like this. And it feels really soft. And it's not shiny at all, I don't think. Um, so it does look very realistic. Um, there's some good coverage. I mean, I'm struggling to see the actual... So you can see there, but it's... It's not too bad, actually. It's... You can't actually see the wig cap. Sometimes you can on some of the thinner wigs, but this one's really thick, so it's got really good coverage of the wig cap. But yeah, I really like this one. I'm really pleased with it. I will definitely wear this one. What do you guys think? It's like a nice dusty pink colour. I think pink's a lovely shade anyway. I think it really looks good on pale skin. Um, I think because pink is quite a nice um, pastel-y colour. I quite like that. And I'm wearing my newest earrings, pink. These are from Machine as well. I think these were only a quid. Can't go wrong. But yeah, no, I really like this. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Happy days! <laughs> oh. Nice long wavy wig. So pretty. Okay. The next wig. We'll go for this one. I just took my hair back in. Yeah, this is the wig cap. And uh, I did read online that some people were saying, oh, these don't fit. But I th they obviously have big heads. Uh, it does say on the packet that one size fits all. And uh, it's tight, but it's not uncomfortable. You know, you want it to be tight because you want it to hold your hair in. And you want it to stay in place. You don't want it moving about, do you? So... I 
don't know if you guys can see that the sun is so bright here in Scarborough it's um it's really warm actually it's probably melting my phone <laughs> oh this looks really nice now I don't know if you guys can see but it's dark and it goes grey but you can see like little hints of violet like they've put some violet strands in there to complement the grey I absolutely love that that's really nice it's like um it's like a purple I don't know if you I hope the camera can pick that up yeah I can definitely see the, the purple it's and I like purple as well but this is just like a hint of it so that, that's going to look really nice I think oh I'm looking forward to this one now this one had a lot of good reviews on I mean they all did to be fair um, but this one especially so get rid of that hairnet this always reminds me of like dinner ladies <laughs> get off get off get off get off <laughs> So that's what it looks like inside. So there you've got some violet in there. It probably does make the wig look a bit fake, like it looks really wiggy. But I really like that. So you've got like dark grey or black. It's hard to say, it's a very dark colour anyway. And it fades into this lovely grey silvery colour. But the lilac really does show through the grey the silver I hope you guys can see that I really do because I think this is absolutely wonderful and again this has a fringe so let's try this on I don't know if this might look too dark against my skin because of the roots but I don't know we'll see I've never had silver hair before at this kind of looks like it's got a blue tint now that I'm looking at it it's, it's weird I don't know what colour this wig is <laughs> um, so it's not it's a longish wig but not as long as the other one it's more like This just comes over my shoulders, kind of thing. Brush that fringe out. Get rid of that fallout. I think this one I'm going to have to play with a bit just to get into the style. What do you guys think to this one? I do like the colour and I do like the style. I think it looks nice my blue eyes, um, the blue contacts. Um, just gotta play around with the fringe just to make sure it covers up my wood cap. Um, let's see if I can bring it forward a little bit. But yeah, I quite like this one. I've just had to close my curtain because it got so bright in here because the sun's moving, so it was right in my face. But I can see myself better in the mirror now, so. Yeah, I quite like this one. I will definitely wear this, definitely my videos. Would I wear it out? Possibly, yeah. I've just got to make sure my hair is pinned back up properly. Um, but yeah, I, I really do like this one. It's nice to have a... It's just nice to experiment with wigs because you get to see styles and colours what, you know, would suit you. You know, you can have a play about and it's fun. You know, it's...
I think that's so pretty. Now guys, this is the second time I've had to film this video. Uh, for some reason my phone decided to cut off. Um, so when I got to the end of the video, I looked and it wasn't recording. So I was so angry. <laughs> so I'm just re-recording this bit again. So the wigs I'm going to show you now are already out of their packaging. Um, so yeah, let's go on to the next one. So I've just actually taken this wig off and... Uh, I really love it. It's such a beautiful. I mean, there's different colours in there. You've got your um, like dark brown or black. Um, and it fades into this nice dusty pink, and then you get more vibrant. Um, the length is actually really good, really long, and the thickness. It's not as thick as the first wig, but it's thick enough. There's plenty of hair there. So let's try this one on again. Just going to brush this one reminds me of like a mermaid. Ooh, this one's getting a bit static. Just going to brush this bit out. I do like this one, I won't lie. I just love all the different shades of pink. I do like how it's darker on the top. Um, and it fades into this beautiful, vibrant pink. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, the fringe I was having problems with, I just couldn't... I don't know, is it too... So I feel like... Oh, you can't see my wig cap now. Hang on. I just felt like before the fringe was too long. So I thought, do I just like try and part it in the middle and have it just sweep in? Just like that. I don't really feel comfortable cutting into my wigs because in case I make a mistake or cut too much off, um, that's it then, isn't it? I like that. I do. I think it's. It's just all about playing around with it. I mean, this wig looks different now than ten minutes ago when I tried it on. Believe it or not, I just feel like this is sitting better on me head. Lighten that there. Yeah. Let's brush that back way out. There we go. so much hair on my carpet I'm gonna have to hoover after this video um, but yeah what do you guys think to this one I absolutely love it I think I think pink is my color I really do I think it's just so beautiful and I think I would get a lot of compliments on this so let's just bring it down a bit so I can... it might look look better brought down and just 
because I don't want to show off too of my, too much of my forehead because I don't want it to look like I've got a big massive forehead I don't know I know I haven't I mean I'm quite lucky so yeah, well I don't think I have anyway <laughs> but yeah I really like that I love it I do it's it's, it's pink and I love pink is probably my favorite color um I think it really makes my eyes look stand out you know stand out really well pink and blue mm. <laughs> but yeah do you like this one yeah I feel like going to the beach now <laughs> Um, it's not too shiny. So one thing I have noticed about these wigs, um, they do look pretty good, um, and it does look like real hair. It's not too wiggy at all. You know, I don't. I think I could get away with that, and people could think it was real hair. Um, no, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust my cap a bit more. Now I'm going to show you my favourite wig of the four. Even though I have enjoyed them all, which I'm so happy about, I've picked a good bunch. But this next one, this one, has to be my favourite. First of all, the colour. Absolutely amazing. It's It's like a berry berry colour and I do like the style, the loose waves, I mean a lot of the wigs I've chosen have got waves in and again a fringe this is what it looks like inside I absolutely love this one um, for many, many reasons. Um, firstly, the colour, like I've just said, the colour is absolutely beautiful. Excuse me. Um, I love the style. the style is absolutely amazing um, the length is a nice it's a good length um, it's longer than my natural hair um, I think it's absolutely beautiful um, and I've not had to do too hardly anything to the wig I mean the fringe is the perfect length um, and I could bring it forward a bit if I wanted to um, but this is this does not need too much doing to it at all um, I love it um, and it's great when you find a wig where you can just put it on and you don't have to do anything to it um, I've hardly brushed it um, it looks really glossy as well really glossy because um, I know coloured hair obviously dark hair as well uh, but I like I think reds and uh, my colours like this, like it's like a purple in it, like a a berry. It's like a cross between purple and red in it. Um, I think they really shine so well in the light. Um, it just looks really glossy. It probably looks wiggy on the top. I don't know because of the glossiness. I don't know, but I would definitely wear this one out for sure. Um, it's thick enough to hide like I mean I can't see any like the wig cap it, it, the coverage is really good on this one um, and because my hair I mean my hair colour is that 
what I've got right now. It's not too dissimilar to the wig, not far off. So if it did show, if it did like fall out the cap, I wouldn't mind so much because it would blend in nicely. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I think this is absolutely amazing. Um, I think this is like my new favourite wig because it ticks all the boxes. It's just so, it was so easy to just slap on and not do anything to it. I mean, I know I'm fiddling around with it now, but I think that's what you do when you put a wig on, don't you? You just play with it. <laughs> um, hardly any fallout. It's a nice length. Um, I think this would look nice straight as well, but I'm not going to straighten it because I do like the waves in this. Um, but I absolutely love this one. What do you guys think? I think it looks really nice against my skin, skin complexion as well. It kind of, I feel like it warms me up in a way. Goes well with my earrings. Oh. <laughs> um. But yeah, what do you guys think? I can't stop playing. But yeah, just let me know in the comments, guys, which one you think is uh, was was your favourite, which one you think suited me best. Um, and I hope I've inspired some of you to actually go out and buy wigs and try them on for yourselves. Um, I think it's so much cheaper than going to a hair salon. <laughs> and uh, I would, uh, yeah, it's so much fun. Um, Whenever I do these videos, I'm always laughing and smiling, and um, I enjoy doing these types of videos anyway because it's different. It's and it's nice to change up your look as well. So yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching me today. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it, um, and as always, thank you so much for your support. Uh, do get in contact with me if you want to send me a private message. Um, and yeah, I hope you are all staying safe and well. And a huge thank you to Sheen. I've had no no issues at all with these wigs apart from one or two, but I will still wear those in videos. Um, but yeah, um, stay safe and well, everybody. And I will see you all again very very soon for more tranquil tones tingles. Take care, everybody. And bye for now.